So hello everyone. Uh, today, my talk is on uh, CEPC, a proposed circular electron-positron collider as a Higgs factory. As you know, Higgs boson was discovered in July 4, uh, 2012 at CERN. And uh, this is a very important uh, discovery. Uh, Higgs uh, particle permit us to study not only the physics within standard model, but also uh, beyond the standard model. Higgs opens a window to the unknown universe. So uh, Chinese scientists uh, uh, proposed in September 2012 uh, electron positron collider as a Higgs factory which can work at the Higgs W and Z, and followed by uh, a proton-proton collider, so-called SPPC, uh, for the uh, energy frontier later. So the, the CEPC design goes through from pre-CDR single ring and uh, uh, all the way down to a par fully partial double ring of, as a CDR. So this is CDR layout, so you can see there is an injector, electron positron LINAC injector, 10 GeV, and a booster from 10 GeV to 100, 20 GeV, and then the collider ring for the, uh, as a Higgs factory. So you see the tunnel on the right. So six meter wide, and uh, uh, there is a SPPC will be installed in the same tunnel later. So this is the CDR parameter. So about the Higgs, we can see that uh, with the singleton radi radiation power of 30 megawatt, we can have a three 10 to 34 uh, square uh, centimeter inverse and uh, uh, per second. This is the luminosity. And uh, after CDR, we opt continue to optimize the luminosity of Higgs and Z also. Uh, so, for example, you can see that uh, the luminosity of Z can reach 100 to uh, 10 to 34. So, the RF system to accelerate the particles inside the collider ring uh, has different shapes of cavity shapes. Uh, so, uh, we can, uh, by uh, using bypass, to work on different energy mode. So the LINAC is very conventional. This is a, a, a 10 GV LINAC with a damping ring in the middle for the positron damping. So uh, after CDR was released in November 2018, CPC entered into a new phase, so-called the technical design report, TDR phase. So the TDR phase means we have to make R&D uh, on the key technologies. Here I give uh, some uh, uh, key issues on the uh, TDR. So I will not uh, go into the detail, but uh, just to show you, there is a list of uh, key technology. About uh, SPPC, we have technology R&D also, which is mainly uh, superconducting materials, ion-based uh, super superconducting materials and high field magnets. So for example, this is the uh, CEPC superconducting R&D progresses. You can see all these uh, components are under study as a, uh, as a, a how to say, um, uh, to the property uh, investigation and also for the design. And uh, uh, this is uh, superconducting RF cavities, one for the nine cell here in the middle, this is for booster. And that two cell is for the collider ring. And uh, uh, they uh, say they, for example, they, uh, for example, for the booster, they already reach uh, the, the collider ring, uh, two cell, they already reach the design goal. So this is the new uh, superconducting laboratory, uh, which will be available uh, next year. So very key important uh, components is the high efficiency cholesterol. The first, Cholesterol of 650 megahertz has been uh, completed. So we will make uh, later 
higher efficiency cholesterol until 80%. So this is the magnets for the collider ring, for the dipole and the quadrupole. And this is the magnets for the booster magnets, two kinds, with iron and without iron, two kinds. For example, without iron already reached the design goal. So this is the vacuum chamber, you can see. And uh, about uh, SPPC, so SPPC is a proton-proton uh, proton collider uh, of 100 kilometer in the same, same tunnel as CPC. And uh, the magnetic field strength is 12 Tesla, uh, corresponding to 75 TeV energy. So this is the layout. You can see there is an injector chain in here. There are three circles and a LIMAC. And this is the parameter of this injector chain. And uh, because the CPC and SPPC, both machine in the same tunnel, so they have to satisfy some constraints. So so-called the compatibility relation is under study and it shows that the two machine can be put in the same tunnel separated by 2.4 meter. About uh, a high field dipole in for the SPPC, the, the Chinese scientists proposed iron-based superconducting material. So this material is very promising and uh, uh, can be very can be uh, much cheaper than niobium 13 So this is very important for SPPC. So the R&D is going on. So the first test has shown that this technology is promising. And uh, also we are working uh, in collaboration with CERN, LHC high luminosity for the CCT pro, uh, magnets. Already uh, the first model has been finished and shipped to CERN and there's another 12 units. So CPC needs uh, industry to participate, to collaborate. Uh, during the construction, they will participate also. So we established the so-called the CPC Industrial Promotion Consortium, so-called the CIPC collaboration. They are working on different domains. About the time scale, uh, since uh, uh, September 2012, CPC SPPC has been proposed, and uh, 2000. Uh, 18 November, the CDR completed and released. Now we're in the TDR phase. We hope to finish TDR at the end of 22, and the construction will after 2023, and to finish the CPC around 2030. After 10 years operation, we consider to uh, to put SPPC in the same tunnel as CPC. So this is the, a, 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 a project timeline. So finally, this is my uh, summary. So after the discovery of boson, Higgs boson at CERN on uh, LHC on July 4, 2012, Chinese scientists proposed the CPC as Higgs factory followed by a proton-proton collider as PPC in the same tunnel. And uh, CDR has been released and uh, 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 CPC optimization design effort continue with higher luminosities. And uh, as uh, uh, TDR, CPC and SPPC R&D uh, is progressed well. And uh, uh, hopefully we can finish TDR before the, uh, before the end of 2022. CPC is an international collaboration project. It needs international participation and welcome international participation and collaboration, as well as industries. Thank you very much.